So uh, this morning we're producing 160 bottles of hand sanitizer, um, something that we deem very important to provide to the community. Uh, over the past month we've created 228 bottles of hand sanitizer for um, individuals, communities in southern New Mexico. So Protect NM is a um, collaborative group where we work with a bunch of different um, organizations throughout the state. Um, it was started by a group of UNM medical students um, because they you know, started collecting different materials and they wanted to figure out where to um, deliver them and how to get stuff moving so we could get different materials to you know, communities that really need it in New Mexico during the COVID pandemic. I attend meetings daily, almost daily, uh, for the New Mexico COVID-19 Emergency Collaborative. We have people who are on the staff of Congress, people from New Mexico that are on the state collaborative, and the point of the collaborative is essentially to help uh, determine where supplies are going, um, especially those in need. So we've taken a lot of things over to the Navajo Nation, for example. We've been working at the Mescalero community since the collaborative has had a lot of things up north and my job on there is to make sure I'm advocating for the southern part of the state. We work with a lot of different BCOM student organizations, such as SNMA, which is Student National Medical Association, and LMSA, which is Latino um, Medical, or Latin Medical Student Association. Um, SOMA as well, which is Student Osteopathic Medical Association. So those are some of the student orgs. There are many others and so many students that are helping us at Burrell. Um, and then outside of that, we have so much help in Las Cruces. So Dry Point Distillers has been fantastic in donating and letting us use their space to make hand sanitizer. Um, next weekend, we're working with various businesses to do a drive through donation. Through SOMA, we have been advocating for uh, mobilization of personal protective equipment to the front lines of uh, healthcare workers working with COVID-19. Through this work and advocacy, we were able to make a connection with Representative Tora Small um, and, and speak with her and find out that she was really enthusiastic about what we were doing here um, in our collaboration with Protect New Mexico, creating hand sanitizer, uh, creating masks, and, and donating those to communities in need. It's incredible to see the way hardworking medical students who are already working hard to become doctors are so invested in their community that they're finding ways to serve uh, across New Mexico and make sure they're keeping all of New Mexico safe.